Ha! Whoa! Welcome to back to the vlog channel, folks. Hi, hello, hell to the low. We've got lots of updates to go over. We've got things that are coming up on the channel in the future that I'd like to talk about. And uh, I got snakes shedding out here and pooping. Yes, that was you. You did that. I wasn't planning on cleaning up snake poop today. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Hold on, hold on. Before we get into all these updates, no, let me show you first. I'm gonna show you. Here's what we're doing. We're gonna feed that giant rabbit to this giant snake. Whoa, dude, what the? You freaking, you're huge in it on me right now. I got this big box to open up. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I'm really excited about it. This came from Thailand. I have no idea what's going on here, but I mean, that looks, I mean, look at that. But I don't know what it is. So we're gonna open up that. I've got Huge, ooh, the one wheel. Dude, the one wheel has been so freaking sweet. My only complaint about the one wheel is that I, I've got nobody to go out and ride with. If I had a riding partner, oh man, it would be sweet. I've, I, oh my, I've, ugh, look. Other thing is cool is you can track all the stats on your phone. 34 miles, 34 miles I've clocked on that thing since I got it a day and a half ago. Freaking sweet. I got to put away the drum set, played a gig with the band last night, and then behind it is a huge pallet from Zilla. Thank you, Ryan McVeigh. I don't know what's all in there. I'm expecting some turtle and tortoise food, but that, that's a huge palate. Okay, I feel like I'm getting way ahead of myself here. I need to stop. Story time. <laughs> I woke up this morning at noon, which isn't morning anymore, I guess. That's so rare for me. I almost never sleep in till noon. Like, sleeping into 8 o'clock is a thing for me. Even if I'm a reptile show, I'll be up to 4 in the morning doing whatever, and I'll be up at 7.30 getting ready for the show. Last night after the show, after the gig... That was a little video that I plugged on Instagram story real quick. I didn't have anybody to hold the camera and people really wanted to see and hear some of the music so I just had to play the drum with one hand for a little bit and take that quick little clip for you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, well, you're not missing a whole lot because I don't really post there that much. But, okay, so after the gig, I go to my lead singer's house, Drew. I give him a ride home. That's just the plan, I give him a ride home. Next thing I know, he's talking about, he's got this thing called a wax pen and I don't know what these kids are into these days, but that thing. Next thing I knew after that, I was watching Dave Chappelle and eating Milk Duds, Dave Chappelle's new stand-up, which was hilarious. I was laughing my butt off. Speaking of laughing your butt off, dude, this morning I was watching the video that Dave put out, Dave Coffin put out when he was here. I'll put the link down in the description. I was crying on the toilet watching that video. Oh my gosh, that was funny stuff. I swear I had a I <laughs> guess that's not working anymore. Um, if this video seems all over the place, it's, that's what's going on. Ooh, I remember I wanted to talk about what's going next, what's happening next, coming up this month. Next weekend, we have our first animal show, our first roaming reptiles show. And uh, no, no. Next weekend, we've got our Too Slow show here in... San Luis Obispo County, which is our educational show. Those of you that have watched the channel for years know about this show, but if you haven't seen it before, well, I'll take you there and you can check it out, see how cool our local show is. Weekend after that, I'm going up to Canada to hang out with you Canadian folks and hopefully get some footage that I can actually use this time because nobody's going to steal my camera this time because I'm going to keep it right in my pocket or I'm going to have people on either side of me watching to make sure that stuff doesn't get stolen. And then on the weekend after that, I've got my first Romy Reptile show as a birthday party, young girl. Um, over there on the uh, other side of the hill, and that should be freaking cool. And then the weekend after that is Sacramento Reptiles Show. So, ooh, also look at this. So this is a clutch, our only clutch in the incubator right now from our girl, the queen, Clown Pie. Ooh, I just got water all over those eggs. I'm gonna dab that up. And they all look good. They're starting to dimple up a little bit. And we should be having some clown pied eggs to hatch here in the next couple weeks. That is going to be a freaking phenomenal clutch. They're all going to be visual clown, assuming the male that I think got to her. And then it's just, oh, I can't wait for that clutch to hatch. We also had a request to get some nice up close shots of a scrub python. So we're going to take out our girl Annie here and we're going to get some nice tight, close, awesome shots of that for you today. 
You guys down with that? Oh, hey, Annie. You're beautiful. Uh, okay, I want to open up the boxes first. And I know it seems like I'm having a good hair day, but honestly, no real such thing as a good hair day when it's getting in your way. Uh, I mean, I'm fortunate that I can have hair because I know there's lots of guys out there that can hair, have hair, even at my age, but sometimes I just want to chop it off. Just gets in the way. Ah, box. Ooh, by the weight, I'm pretty sure that I know exactly what this is. My parents, for my birthday, got me... Yes! Ooh. That seemed utterly pointless. Oh, how cute! Check out this. Ugh. Oh, they're serious about it. Oh! This here, folks, is an Aperture 120D Mark II. Freaking epic light that I should probably read the instructions on before I start trying to take it apart like this. Uh, anyway, it's a bad, bad, bad light. As in, by bad, I mean extremely good and cool. We're gonna have some freaking epic lighting up in this place real soon. I just, I'm waiting for the umbrella. I would use it in this video, but I'm waiting for the umbrella. So next video, assuming the umbrella gets here, dude, just let me know how you think about the lighting. I, I, I know I, I love this stuff. And it probably doesn't matter to most of you guys, which is fine. But to me, I geek out on stuff like this. This is gonna be freaking sweet. Just wait, just you wait, just, can you wait, please? Now for the mystery box. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I remember. GoFundMe, not a GoFundMe, but a uh, Kickstarter. A Kickstarter campaign I came across one day, and it was this guy making these epic freaking mugs and, and stoneware, and this thing just blew me away, especially since I'm into drinking coffee now. How is that for a coffee mug? That thing is sick. That thing is so freaking dope, dude. I am, look at that thing. Look at that thing. That is amazing. If you want one of these things, you can just hit up my man right here. Here we go. Oh my God, that's heavy. Oh, gross. Now we're gonna sit here and watch her eat it in real time. Ha, <laughs> I was just kidding, that would take like a half hour, maybe hour and a half actually. <laughs> Good lighting is definitely key when you want to get some nice macro shots and it's tough. It's really tough to get head shots of these guys with macro cameras because they just move so much and all she really wants to do is hide in a dark hole so I got the good light set up here but it's it just it's so difficult so I hope those came out okay. We're gonna go check out what's on that palette from Zilla and then we're gonna come back and check out Betsy Ross see how she's doing on that rabbit. If you had seen what it took to get this palette into this chuck which you didn't because I wasn't filming yesterday you wouldn't question as to why I'm just gonna leave it in here and unbox it here rather than try and get it off the truck first. We're just, we're just gonna do it here. Y you never know when you're gonna have to pull over and sleep in your truck, so a pillow is a good idea. Bark? Anybody want some bark? Ah, oh, that's a ton of turtle and tortoise food. I'll definitely use that. <laughs> There's tons of more bark that I'm not gonna use. Uh, 
Actually, you know, it, it looks like it's good for tegus and also box turtles, so I am going to use it. Thanks again, Ryan. <laughs> Alright, before we go back in and check on Betsy and the rabbit, I say we go see what's up with the fam. You guys down with that? Hey, screaming. What? What do you know? I know. Tarantulas. What about Goliath tarantulas? That they have fangs and butt hairs and that's why I know. <laughs> and that's all. Yeah, we saw what it was. I can't see that. It's just a barcode. Mm hmm? <laughs> hey, Moosh. <laughs> what do you <laughs> know? <laughs> I know how to dunk. Oh, Jaden wants to say, what do you know? I think you need to do. <laughs> what do you know? I know. Rocks. What about rocks? That you can dig into them with screwdrivers and hammers. And they're made out of multiple types of minerals. And uh, some have crystals. And uh, uh, that's all I know. What do you know? I know. Fire. What about fire? That it's hot, red, yellow, and orange, and oranges, and sometimes it can be blue or purple, and if you touch it, it will burn to your bone. Wait, can it burn your bone and melt it? Depends how hot it is. How about full hot fire? I, I don't know. I've never tried. Um, and if you have a gun, if it's not a BB gun, then sometimes fire will launch it. <laughs> and that it makes sparks. And that's all I know. Just insane, man. It blows me away watching these snakes eat big things like that. These pythons just freaking nuts, dude. Seeing that, that windpipe open up so she could breathe while she's swallowing that big ass rabbit. Whew! Freaking, ugh, that was sick. All right, folks. Well, I am going to go over to my cousin's house and we're gonna watch the movie It, Stephen King's It. Awesome freaking movie, and holy crap, this driveway is steep. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll see you again on the next video, day after tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, bro, this one didn't make it. Uh, I'm not sure what, what went wrong in the box. It's good. It's not all banged up or anything. Poor thing.
just wanted to show you a video.